Yeah. So uh, you just say, what's the, what's the difference in the blue label, the, the ruby? Well, what's the difference? Price, basically. What's price. a ruby? What's a ruby record? Pardon? Well, you said a ruby record. Well, that was a. In, on each record, you, you've seen our records, you've got some white labels. Yeah. You've yeah. Got, uh, got a white label, which was at the very beginning of the century. Yeah. That's why I've got a white label of uh, Quartet from uh, Rigoletto. That is, uh, and then there were, <coughs> the first records only had one side. Yeah. And the other side was blank. Mm -hmm. And then they brought out the white labels, which were very were expensive. And then they brought out the red labels, the HMV was his yeah. master's voice. Yeah, that I remember, yeah. But is the difference in quality? Uh, in, in quality. Quality of the record? No, no, it was you know, the price of the record, because the yeah. artist demanded more money, so oh, you had to pay more money. So what's a Ruby record? Uh, Ruby a... record was, uh, <coughs> there, uh, there, were, there were good records, uh, there was no difference in, in tone and things like that, but it's possible that they were cheaper because they didn't demand yeah. Uh, such a, well, uh, didn't have such a uh, what's the name was Ruby Records uh, Rosenblatt yeah. uh, Ruby Records uh, what's his name uh, uh, Hirschman had the blue label Columbia they were more popular yeah. they were very popular ok so yeah. we've come so that is your um, any other memories from school or uh, no, not really. what was it like uh, you know the, no, with uh, going you got on with going there or you had nothing yeah, to do so, with no, there was no problem no, no problem there was, I didn't find any anti The only anti-Semitism which, uh, which we had to combat was going to Cheda, because the Cheda was remained in, uh, in that Jewish area which the Jews had already moved up yeah. and Goyim, you know, across the Goyim, used, uh, took over those houses which yeah. were sold quite few. And uh, the Cheda remained there. Mm. And uh, until uh, after the war, until we, uh, until the war started, yeah. because we couldn't go so far. Anyway, so uh, so we were accosted constantly with throwing stones at us, you know, as we go. So we used to go, uh, we used to arrange to go to in you know, a fuel yeah. to get your boys together. Yeah. And that was a, that was a situation. How many kids in the cheder? Look, the big cheder. When I first started, of course, it must be about. 500, 600, you know, from mm. uh, there was the Jewish community there. It was a very big hate, a very big hate. Yeah. And then slowly, you know, it, it, uh, people were, were, went away. But you generally didn't have problems with going there? Uh, <coughs> we had anti Semitism. Yeah. You felt anti Semitism? Oh, yeah, when we used to play outside. Yeah. Uh, in the, well, I, I know I, I used to shout when we used to play outside when I got older. <laughs> we used to play outside, and uh, and uh, they used to say, "Why don't you Jews go back to Palestine?" You know, <laughs> Palestine. Uh, Palestine. Palestine. They used to go. Why don't you, uh, you go back to Palestine? How the Jews do? I looked like a goy. I had a blonde hair and so on. Mm. But they they knew we were Jews. They could smell us. I don't know. Mm. But uh, otherwise, don't we? We accepted it. It was an accepted yeah. thing. Like nowadays, most probably the uh, there's anti-Semitism there, but you accept it. You live there. What can you you once do? told me a story of going with grandma about <coughs> with Goisha kids and outside the pub. What's that? Yeah, about grandma. You went went with grandma. Well, so. well, well my mom, grandma used to go. You know, for uh, there was uh, there was very little. There was no television or anything. So. She used to play uh, whist uh, card game, and there used to be a lot of uh, people, uh, elderly people, not elderly people, middle-aged people, used to go and uh, spend an evening playing cards. Mm. And sometimes I used to go with her, and I used to wait and used to go around and sit and read a book or whatever it was I took with me. And we used to walk home, and that was in the town, uh, and we used to pass. Pass uh, in the public houses where people, uh, people used to drink, and uh, and we met. It was very cold that day. There was a lot of slush. That means uh, melted snow on the ground. Mm. And we passed one of those public houses, and we saw a young boy there without any shoes, frozen stiff, waiting outside the public house for his parents to come out. And Mum said, "These are going." These are going. Mm. We would never be like this, and uh, I'll never forget that. I was so sorry for that boy, and 
it's a matter of muscle who you're born to. Uh, it was terrible. Uh, Yes, he gets to the age of 10, then the, the war... This was 1939. Yeah. September. Do you remember the people talking about it? Or? Definitely. We were very worried about it because they, uh, they used to have newspapers. On Sunday was no newspapers. There wasn't a thing. Mm. So, and then in the afternoon there used to be... Uh, what was There used to be a term, latest news or something like that. Latest news, everybody should buy the newspaper. It was a way of selling newspapers, yeah. all about what was developing in the war. And uh, we were very, very worried. And uh, when Chamberlain came back from, uh, from Munich, he said he'd made a pact with Germany, there'll be no war, we've sold our, you know, gave them Czechoslovakia, let's go and give them back to Germany, Sudetenland. And uh, no war, no uh, peace in our time. And Churchill, said there won't be any peace in our time with Hitler. You're fooling yourself. You remember that? You remember Very clearly. And uh, I remember Churchill speaking <laughs> over the, the, on the radio, radio when he, when uh, Chamberlain uh, packed in. You had a radio at home? Yes. I remember so clearly a radio. We bought a radio, a nice radio. We had an old one which was a sort of crystal. Were well, those the boxes? That's right, well, yes, yeah, but we bought a new radio. <coughs> one radio, it was a beautiful. And all of a sudden, <coughs> I heard a duet from an opera put on there in the morning. In those days they used to put on opera. So Mum said, What beautiful voices they have got. It was uh, Julian, Totti mm. Del Monte, I've got the record. <laughs> and that, that yeah, that sort of clinched it with Afra when I heard, they heard those two voices singing together. But anyway, uh, that's besides the point. So I, uh, and then the King uh, spoke, the King George. Uh, that was the stutter, huh? Yes. He, he spoke, and, you know, to be all together, we've got to be fought. We're fighting against a terrible person who wants to uh, uh, <coughs> be. Uh, in charge of the whole world and so on and very wicked and uh, then we were sent then we were sent uh, all the, the schools were sent to uh, evacuated to certain places in the mm. some were sent over to Canada mm. if the parents agreed but we were we had to be in London being in Leeds we weren't in the, the forefront really of the bombing yeah. because there was no money manu no manufacturers you know ammunition factory in Leeds. Mm. Uh, so, uh, so we were sent. Uh, we were all as children. We were sent to. Uh, we were sent yeah. to uh, Lincolnshire. <coughs> there we were. A village. The villages. Yeah. The villages yeah. You, bet you remember it. Oh yes, yeah. Right, clearly, what, yeah. What, all um, the Jews, all the Jews were kept together in that respect, and uh, and we had. Uh, it was before Rosh Hashanah at that time. You know, September. Yeah. And uh, they made arrangements for all the Jewish boys to go to this particular school. They were very down there and uh, you know, uh, concerned about us. Yeah. And uh, we were, we went to a very, we were, uh, I think I mentioned it to you in the first time, <coughs> we were all sent to, <coughs> to a very big hall when we got to this place. You want a drink? Uh, a drop of water, yes, a drop of water.